Hi there, welcome to another diecast review. This is our latest conversion that we have completed, a 1994 412 T1 Ferrari V12 number 27 Jeanalisi conversion to Marlboro livery. Uh, really excited that this one is complete because it's truly a stunning car, probably the best sounding Formula One car of all time and also one of the best looking cars What's really nice about this diecast model is it's the early 1994 season version. So before they made all the rule changes. So what Ferrari did, just to zoom in, on the engine cover, they had some cutouts at the back, which made it jagged. And also they did fit quite a few barge boards behind the front suspension there in front of the side pods throughout the season. So it's really nice to have the early season version. It's quite clean for those reasons. Now, obviously, this is a very old model, 1994, 29 years old, approaching 30. But um, it's a very clean model, no dust exposure, nice and shiny, no sun fade. For the, for the year one would say it's very good condition, right? The Marlboro conversion has come out very nice, for sure, to the, the body of the die cast and the figure as well and the helmet. So we'll zoom in a little bit. So full Marlboro conversion. Jean Lacy's favourite helmet, red Ferrari, number 27, V12. It doesn't get much better than this. So this was a famous model. Jean Lacy came very close to winning the 1994 Italian Grand Prix. He was leading, but he uh, messed it up in the pits. I understand he put maximum RPM in neutral and he, he apparently he blew the dog ring or something with the transmission. Uh, John Barnard said apparently if he selected second or third and pulled away, he would have um, been still in the race. So quite interesting, John Lacy sped away in his car and drove completely the, the opposite direction to his flight, doing very high speeds on the highway. High in his emotional um, uh, reflection. So that's quite interesting. But yeah, very uh, fond memories of, of the 90s for me personally. A bit about this model though, to go back on subject, so this is the rear wing where the Marlboro 27 decal has been applied. The rear diffuser there, which is huge. Um, mm -hmm. From the rear, this model does look very nice. So classic mid 90s, early to mid 90s. The Coke bottle effect at the back there, a lot of detail. Again, for an old Mini Champs model, it's quite nice for the detail. You can see the exhaust exit pipes there as well from the manifold to the exit, which is quite nice detail from Mini Champs. And then as I come around the other side, again, this is the front Marlboro decal that's been fitted to the rear wing. And just a bit of a close up there of those exhaust pipes. So really nice detail for a 1994 model. Again, uh, this model's come up really nice. There was no done, as I mentioned, no dust or sun exposure, so it was always going to look nice once the conversion was done. So I'll zoom in a bit there. Generally a really clean model. Um, quite rare that they're in this good condition for the year. So, yeah, a really nice model. And the GP replicas model, in terms of their proportions and the wheels, they can be a bit different. So, for me, this classic Mini Champs model is probably the best version until Mini Champs eventually get a Ferrari license and redo this model, which will probably never happen because they haven't had the Ferrari license since I think 1998, which is a shame, but it is what it is. So, here is the model a bit of a die cast review post-conversion. 
Let me know in the comments what you think of this die cast. If you have any fond memories of Jean Alesi in this 94 Ferrari, please, please share. I'd, I'd love to hear it. And just a final few close up shots of this die cast. So thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe, uh, I do have a nice 112 scale Michael Schumacher Mini Champs 96 Ferrari High Nose Edition, Italian Grand Prix actually, it's got both those um, TV cameras so that's going to be nice to do when the decals arrive, I've already removed the old ones and then of course other models yet to do the conversions so thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and any feedback or any questions about conversions i'd love to to help out or anything anyone would like to suggest please leave a message thank you for watching this video